Let us go live to Claudia, who's outside the presidential palace in Rome. Why, why, why cannot Italy have a prime minister who's elected by the people? Well, there is a voting law here in uh, Italy that was deemed unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. And Matteo Renzi uh, said all along, since he was elected leader of the Democratic Party back on uh, December 2013, that he wanted new elections, he wanted to win elections outright, but first the parliament should have passed a new voting law that allows uh, Italians to vote to select and choose their own candidates, something that does not happen with this current law. Well, then he realized or he said that um, he didn't see the former Prime Minister Enrico Letta doing much about it and he didn't believe uh, that the government was moving fast enough to introduce this new voting law. So he said, well, I don't have any other choice but to replace you as Prime Minister so that I can pass that voting law myself. As a matter of fact, today during his speech uh, after he met Napolitano said that the first law that he will try to push through in Parliament is the voting law. When you spoke to the journalist from Corriere della Sera, uh, he said, we've got to see who the real backers of this government are. What did he mean by that? Well, of course, he's uh, uh, inheriting a coalition, a very fragile coalition government where forces from both the centre-right and centre-left have been working together uh, to uh, push reforms through. Well, that hasn't worked very well uh, under Enrico Letta. So, what uh, Massimo Franco, the, the journalist, meant is will, for instance, Angelino Alfano, the leader, the former ally of Silvio Berlusconi, uh, who split up with him to form his own party, still back Renzi, or will Renzi run with a double ticket with Silvio Berlusconi himself? Well, we'll have to wait and see for that. Oh dear, well, we'll have to wait. You're absolutely right. But just give us an idea, Claudio, on, on what the state of Italy's finances are, because Two, three years ago, everybody said it was in real trouble. How is it now? Well, it is still in real trouble. It's better than two or three years ago. You may remember that two or three years ago we had the famous spread, which is uh, the lever over which the investors from abroad value uh, the risks in uh, Italy. And the spread back then was up to almost 500, which was almost a point of non-return. Well, if you look at the spread today, after the announcement uh, of the uh, meeting uh, between Renzi and Napolitano, well, the spread was down to 200. That means that the markets at least see this change uh, cautiously, positively. Let's put it that way. Uh, but of course the problems for Italy are not over at all, especially on the economic side. And Renzi said that after the voting law, the next law that needs to be introduced, well actually he promised one law per month, uh, we'll see if he can keep that one up, uh, is labour and, and economy laws. One law per month and one government per five years, that would be something in Italy. Um, Claudio Lavanga, thank you.